Hi, it's John here from the Audison Middle School for today's Tech Talk. Now, for today's Tech Talk, I'm going to be giving you some advice on how to use Poplet, the app, for educational purposes. This Tech Talk will teach students how to use Poplet for information gathering, presentations, and even some note taking. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with my personal favorite use for Poplet, which are information webs. Now, if you don't know what an information web is, basically you start with an idea, phrase, or word in the center and you make words related to that idea that branch off of it. If you're still confused, you can see the example that I've made. Okay, so um, with Poplet, this is actually really easy to do. All you do is double tap to make a problem, take the gray circle and drag it out to make a new problem. So basically, all you have to do is do that a couple more times. You got yourself a pretty good information web. Another one of my favorite uses for Poplet are presentations. Using the app, you can make a unique slideshow like the one that you're seeing now. You can change the color of the outline of the Popple. You can add images to enhance the Popple. And you can even draw on the Popple if you're creative. But I'm not. You may remember me saying that this app could be used for note taking, and in some cases it can. If you are taking notes on something that can fit into a presentation or is in chronological order, like how chocolate is made, you can make a sort of slideshow on your notes. Not that this type of note taking doesn't work with all types of information, but you can make it work like I'm doing here. As you can see, really awesome. Now, if you're still confused on the basics of Poplet, you can tap this little question mark icon in the top right hand corner, and I'll give you all the basics on how to use Poplet. Anyways, hope you enjoyed learning about Poplet. This is John, signing off for this OMS Tech Talk.